make some real noise. Make some real noise. Charlie Murphy's on the Arsenio Hall show, man. I'm happy, man. I'm really happy. Because I come from New Jersey and it's very cold there right now. It's nice and warm out here. I like it in, when it's warm, you know? Where I live at, it's really cold. I don't like the winter. The winter reminds me of some of my worst memories. <laughs> like Hurricane Sandy. Remember Hurricane Sandy? Hurricane Sandy left me without power for five days. I was not prepared <laughs> to not have power for five days. <laughs> five days is long enough for your kids to start second-guessing your authority. Three days into that, my son walked up to me. He was like, hey, so why we got to listen to you? You can't even get the lights on. <laughs> I was like, wow, this little boy got a point. <laughs> I ain't like that feeling, man, but I'm happy to be here today, man. Even though I had a weird day, I got here early, you know. Had to go to the mall and pick some stuff up. Went to the mall, you know, I'm walking through the mall and seen this woman pushing a stroller. That's a normal thing to see, you know, a woman pushing a stroller. But as she walked past me, I glanced in the stroller. The dog was in the stroller. That me off, man. I really want to kick that stroller over. Got two steps past us, see another woman walking the baby on a dog leash. What's going on out here, man? It struck me as strange, you know. So I left the mall, you know, I left the mall and went across the street to the 7-Eleven to get me some rolling papers. Because yes, I do smoke weed every now and then. Yeah. Every now and then, like once, once an hour, you know. Walked in the 7-Eleven and asked the dude for the rolling papers and the dude behind the counter got off, man. Had a scowl on his face. We don't sell drug paraphernalia here. I was like, really? Why not? I mean, you selling alcohol here. Look, you got condoms, you got sex pills. <laughs> you even selling ham sandwiches. <laughs> and you're a Muslim. I don't think this is supposed to be happening right now, huh, son? So I left the 7-Eleven, you know, went right across the street to the gas station, got me some rolling papers, went back to my room, rolled me a fat one up, you know? Turned the TV on, I'm smoking it. And anyone who smokes weed knows there's an exact moment when the weed kicks in. You be stuck for a moment, your ass be like this. So I was in t front of the TV stuck, you know, and this commercial came on with Shaquille O'Neal selling this car. The Buick LaCrosse. <laughs> Built for comfort. And when he said, Built for comfort, it shook me out of my stuck state. I was like, wait a minute. Shaq can't fit no <laughs> Buick LaCroix. <laughs> I met Shaq before. I remember after one of my shows, they was like, Charlie, man, Shaq is waiting for you in the dressing room, you know? So I got real excited and rushed back to the dressing room, and the dressing room had one of them drop ceilings, which was fine for me, but when I walked in, Shaq was like this. <laughs> and I kept hearing something going, whack! 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 And I was like, what the hell is that? I looked over his shoulder, the ceiling fan was whipping his ass. <laughs> so right then and there, I knew that Shaq could not fit in no <laughs> Buick LaCrosse. <laughs> you know, they show Shaq come out the house, and they got two separate Buick LaCrosse. And he steps inside him, you know. And then the roller skates down the block. The beautiful girls. And oh yeah, before I forget, man, this is, 
I can't forget this, man. Paula Dean has been forgiven. I know you've seen it on the news. They forgave her, you know? And I remember the very first day when I heard that scandal break out, I was watching TV and the news came on. And they said, today, Paula Dean's entire food network empire, valued at $17 million a year, has come under jeopardy due to the fact that Paula's been caught using the N-word, otherwise known as I was in my living room, I was like, wow, 17 million a year for saying the word <laughs> That's messed up, man. <laughs> I say the word about 200 times a day myself. <laughs> so when they forgave her, you know, I, I, I kind of went along with it, because I'm going to be honest with you. As a black man, I didn't get mad when Paula Dean said the word <laughs> I got mad about all of them. Recipes she stole from. <laughs> I'm Charlie Murphy. 